because he's in stockpile. We never changed the market yet. Uh -huh. I'd like to invite uh, Ward Bond to come up here, regional manager for Talking Signs Incorporated, who will tell us a little bit about the walking, the talking signs, and we'll have a demonstration uh, following uh, the, the last comments here. Ward. Thank you, Mr. B uh, Blaylock, and uh, thank you all for being here. I uh, appreciate the uh, BART staff that has worked so diligently to get this installation in. This is the first permanent installation in the BART system. Uh, we've had a temporary uh, installation in the Powell Street Station in San Francisco for several years, and that uh, installation has been the basis of about a half a dozen major studies that were funded by the Federal Transit Administration and BART and Smith Kettlewell Eye Research Institute that have laid the academic uh, foundation and the, the uh, credentials for this technology. And so BART has been foundational in developing the base that now this technology rests on. One of the fruits of the efforts of BART and the others who've worked on Talking Signs is that a month ago, the Intelligent Transportation Society of America, which is a association of transit agencies at all governmental levels and the industry that services uh, transit nationwide, uh, awarded Talking Signs Inc. with their annual award for improvement of quality of life in the transit industry. And I think all of uh, you can be very proud of having played an important role in that technology, receiving that acclaim. First, I would like to thank BART and AC Transit for making this station as a permanent uh, accessible location for people with print access problems. It doesn't only apply to blind and visually impaired people, but to anyone who has difficulty sorting out signs, especially print signs, and uh, confusing numbers and confusing locations and the pathway. It's critically important that all public transit facilities and intermodal uh, stations be made accessible to all riders, those of us who are blind and visually impaired are dependent on public transportation. We can't choose to use a car. And those of you who need signage information, who can't quite read it visually, uh, join me in appreciating BART and AC Transit's efforts at making this location accessible. And it's very important when you can't see, or sometimes even when you can, to have direction. So as I I'm facing you. I know there's no information out here right at the minute. And for me to find the station door, I don't know how many degrees I've turned one way or another, but as I turn around, I'm going to be holding my receiver button on and listening for the signal.